Corey, you're not in the shot. You gotta get down here. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Phil here from Custom Offsets. Custom Offsets TV on YouTube with Corey, who leads all of the graphic designers. You've probably seen them in a video before, maybe if you watch every single one, if you're a subscriber. Which, by the way, click the little subscribe button, hit the bell, do the notification thing. I felt like a typical YouTuber plug there. <laughs> this is gonna be another episode of This or That. So, we got Keaton behind the camera. He's gonna ask the questions that you guys asked in the last video, plus a couple more. So we're gonna answer them. I'm in. Let's go. 2019 Tacoma on 40s or 2019 Colorado on 40s? What size are the wheels? Doesn't matter. 39s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the thing. Toyota Tacoma, probably my favorite um, mid-size truck on the market. Colorado, also a pretty decent vehicle in the ZR2 trim with the diesel engine. I think it's pretty- They make a diesel? Yeah, really? it's called a Duramax. It's not like it's a baby Duramax though, okay. but it's like a little tiny diesel. Okay. Um, not like, you know, very powerful or anything like that. More for fuel economy, but it's still, it's still pretty torquey and it's kind of cool. The Tacoma, where I was going with this, is not that fast stock. So I imagine putting 40s on it would make it very difficult to get up to speed. So if I can pick 2019 Colorado ZR2 with a diesel, then I would do the 40s. I do the Tacoma because I feel like when you have that sand mode or that snow mode, whatever it is, where it could just like dig itself out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you mix it, that in with 40s, like you can't go wrong. You would never get stuck true. anywhere. You would have a very and, capable vehicle. Yeah, and you could literally go wherever you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want. And that's why I'm going with the Tacoma. It's called A Track, by the way. Okay. Yep. Eight Track? A. 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 Eight. A. Eight bit. Oh, God. Fit me in. Here we go. Nope. 2019 Ram or 2019 Silverado? If you can't ram it, f it. That's not, I don't <laughs> think that's how the phrase goes. Uh, 2019 Ram or 2019 Silverado? I'm going Silverado just because I have a 95 Chevy 2500. Should we tell people that? Yeah, because like it's still going. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that it's still going with the amount of abuse that I've put it through makes me think that if I had a 2019, I would have that until I die. I really like the style of the 2019 Ram. I think they did a really good job when they redesigned the new generation. The interior is bomb diggity. Factory air ride, bomb diggity. However, I'm picking the 2019 Silverado because I don't really have a good reason. Do Dodges still have that whole unreliable thing? I think with the, so it used to be like transmission problems. And I believe the new Ram comes with a 10 speed. And anytime someone says transmission problems and 10 speed in the same brand, <laughs> I just go, ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, That's also why I'm going with the, uh, the Chevy. They haven't had a really good history, but I, I don't know how redesigned the new one is. Honestly, I don't pay that much attention to the Rams because I just didn't like them for so long. I really do like the way they look Makes now. it hard to get back into it. Yeah. You know, it's like you have one bad experience at a restaurant and you never go back again. Exactly. That's. That's what happened. So I'm gonna go with the Chev. Who's gonna be the king of the TIS lineup in 2020? TIS 544, Old Faithful, or the newcomer, TIS 547? Hmm, 547, brand new, uncharted territory. Uh, 544, most popular wheel, pretty much, you know, this year. But who's gonna be best in 2020? See, I feel like 544 has got such a head start. But, 547 is sick. It's sick. I'm yeah. going 547. It it's looks gorgeous. It looks really full. I don't even think you could Google it yet. Yeah. So this will be interesting. We may be leaking information, which we are not supposed to. However, I'm very comfortable with that. Yeah, it's a gorgeous wheel. <laughs> and I think if anything, we're helping you out because the 547 will take over. Yeah, it's it's sick. I think it's gonna, it's gonna blow up. And like TAS hasn't had very many good wheels. Sorry, TAS. The 544 was a big hit, obviously. But other than that, people don't really know a lot of different TAS yeah. wheels. But the 547 is going to come out and people are going to. They're going to know. They're going to know. Does that answer your question? Brand new Tundra TRD Pro or Cummins powered Nissan Ooh. Titan XD? Ooh. Honestly, the Nissan Titan isn't a half bad truck, but I'm a huge Toyota fan. What, I, I wanna hear your answer on this first. I think the Tundras look so odd compared what? to how good the Tacoma looks 
that I have to go with the Nissan, especially because it's got the Duramax, and I think that. No, <laughs> so I would go with the Nissan, especially because it has the Cummins, because um, that would just be weird pulling up to a stoplight and seeing Cummins on the side of your Nissan next to a guy in a Cummins Dodge. I mean, like, hey, we're yeah. bros, just right? so you know. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. Their trucks do look pretty, uh, pretty cool. I saw a couple at SEMA last year that were actually like done up. Um, we put a leveling kit on one one time. It's kind of a weird like half mix between a half ton and a three quarter ton, uh, but you do get the diesel motor, so you can still haul a lot. But it's such a goofy truck as a whole. They're like, I think hmm, that's why I want it. Let's write a list of all of the good things about trucks. We'll take them all. <laughs> and then just like put, it in, much. put yeah. it in one category. But I'm still gonna pick the Tundra, especially because it's TRD Pro. There are just so many off-road features, and that's my style. We're going up this weekend, we're gonna, we're gonna beat the crap out of Zach's. But then wouldn't you feel bad when you pull up next to a Tacoma, realize you paid more for it, and got less of a no. capable truck? No. Mm -hmm. Tundra TRD Pro is still very capable. It's just not as small, which means you can't like get it into all of the places you could get a Tacoma. Meh. I have a chainsaw. That, that is my argument. I'm a car guy, take nothing I say seriously. Right, Corey drives a <laughs> Lexus, before that he had a Mustang. Uh... Corey's also a pterodactyl. Solid axle HD Chevy, or IFS Super Duty Ford. <laughs> All right, so, right, here we go. Uh, basically they're taking the underside of each truck and flip-flopping it. Because the F-150, or F-250, F-350 is a solid axle, but they're saying convert to IFS. I would take the IFS. So th there's a reason why Chevy didn't make straight axles, and there's a reason why everybody has moved to independent front suspension. There's a reason why the Mustang got rid of the live rear axle and put IRS in the rear. There's a reason why people do that. It's because it's better. And it performs better off-road, it handles better on-road. Uh, on the track? Yeah. In the dirt? Granted, okay, do we, do we track I an F-350? I would take my Super Duty to the track. I would Especially think. if I had IFS. One time I saw a guy on a 600cc moped at a motorcycle track day, and I was like, yup, you're doing it right. <laughs> I feel like that's the same thing with the truck. We, we, we could take a truck to a track exactly. day. We should probably drag race CO2 in the F-350 also. <clears throat> Just gonna throw that out there. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> don't tell him that. Who's I didn't tell Leaking him more information. Custom offsets leaks.com. <laughs> Don't, don't go steal that website. Um, yeah, I would take the IFS swapped uh, Super Duty. I just think IFS is a great performer in many situations. And the ISF is a great Lexus. <laughs> just because you have one. Black truck, black wheels, or black truck chrome wheels? Black truck, black wheels. Yeah, that's a stupid question. Black truck, black wheels. It's not a stupid question. There are no stupid questions. Only stupid people. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> We're getting kind of offensive here, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, black on black, can't go wrong. Chrome on black. I mean, if you got enough chrome accessories on the truck, sure. But then I just start to think of like, like the semis. Like 65 year old. The big rig chrome yeah. shop. And uh, I'd rather just see black on black. Can't go wrong. It's really Unless hard to mess up. Unless you do chrome truck with black wheels, then you're doing it. Approved. Get stabbed and receive three grand, or avoid the stabbing and pay three grand. So you guys just do random questions that have absolutely nothing to do with Yeah, so here? the thing is we like to throw in one that's like, <laughs> where did that come from? Get All stabbed, right. get paid three grand. Where are you getting stabbed? Anywhere? Actually, I can't think of a good spot to get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> like, for three grand? Like, see, okay. that's the heart area. I don't think you could do the heart for three grand. But like the leg, I think I could do that. <laughs> By the way, Custom Offsets has a beautiful knife for sale. Buck knives, stainless steel, really nice. But, <laughs> like, okay, so now I'm picturing this much knife. Yeah, I don't want that in me, but I also don't want to pay $3,000. And if it's just once, so here's the thing, people sometimes get stabbed like 27 times, right? And they and live they, through it. They always live. Yeah. So if it's just getting stabbed once and I get three grand, if my health insurance Would that even pay covers for the medical bills? Health insurance. Okay. 
We have a three thousand dollar deductible. I have no idea what the deductible is. I've never used $3, it. Three thousand dollars. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> so you just end up even. Ugh. It would make for a good story. I'll get stabbed. I feel like that was a bad thing to say because I already have people that like show up at my house and it gets kind of weird. I know a guy who got stabbed and he lives a pretty normal life now. I also know the guy who stabbed him and he lives an even better life now. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right guys, that's all we got for an episode of This or That. That was a fun one. If you guys have other fun questions you wanna ask us, this, that, the other thing, whatever phrase you wanna put it in, go ahead and drop it in the comments below and we're gonna take this knife away from Corey. <laughs> uh, check us out at customhouses.com. Peace.